Happy Veterans Day. Just kidding. Today's actually known as Free Food Day for many military veterans out there. You know, the ones who have done absolutely nothing for you in the name of freedom. Nothing to curtail the heavy boot of that tyranny that is government. Because if they did, you would not even have Trump sitting on a throne around the corner. For all those who are upset and running amok around these cities, you don't need those kinds of slave masters in your life. Because conveniently, the military has forgotten that it's here at home where we're losing our freedoms, not overseas. Overseas, of course, were Obama's drone bombing families and children out of existence. And how many wars, again, has Obama ceased, stopped, ended since taking that throne? Zero. How many wars has he engaged in since taking that throne? Seven. You have Iraq, Pakistan, Somalia, Yemen, Libya, Syria, and Afghanistan, where the Nobel Prize winner drone bombed the fuck out of a Doctors Without Borders field hospital. That this was done through the uh, U.S. chain of command. The military has forgotten that. You swore an oath, right, to protect your home, to protect your community and country, Americans, from not just foreign threats, if there are any, right, but domestic ones as well. Domestic ones here that is terrorizing the very people that you joined up to protect, to save, to safeguard from tyranny, from those kind of monstrous threats that seek to curtail our lives and destroy it. And who do you think that domestic enemy is? Who do you think that threat here is in the United States? We have people like Eric Garner being murdered by government for selling cigarettes. We have someone like Arnold Albit, 90 year old World War II veteran who's arrested, extorted for feeding the homeless. But Arnold is still facing 60 days in jail and a $500 fine. And then there's Jeff Mazansky who was sentenced to spend two decades in a cage for marijuana, a victimless crime in which millions continue to suffer and those in rot in those cages for crimes they've never committed against another person, for crimes they've never committed against another person or their property, but because the government says you are not allowed to own your body. Nobody deserves to be in there for marijuana. There's several people in there right now. One of them's, one of them's in there doing 15 years for having six little plants about this big. You even have kids being extorted by government for setting up lemonade stands. We were doing just fine until the cops came. They shut us down. And if you think government cares about you, all you have to do is remember Peter Kaysen, who committed suicide because the VA Medical Center didn't give a damn about him. These things run rampant all over the country. Peter Kaysen shot himself on August 21st outside of the Northport Veterans Affairs Medical Center on Long Island. And let's not forget Benny Coleman, not that far from Richmond, up in D.C., in which the government helped him by making him homeless, all because he did not surrender. This guy suffered from dementia, also a Marine Corps veteran, did not surrender for a $134 tax extortion fine, and the government just took us home and threw him out in the street. Retired Marine Sergeant Benny Coleman was evicted at gunpoint from his Washington, D.C. home. U.S. federal marshals stormed Coleman's home and took several possessions. So, so much for the American dream. And I'm going to tell you myself, I did four years in the military, four years in the Air Force doing security forces, and for a fact, we did nothing to defend the freedoms here at home, to protect you from tyranny. And because even though the United States has been around for quite a long time, a majority of its history has been involved in wars, 222 years of wars. And people forget that government itself is a war on peaceful people and no one is free until it's abolished. No one is free until that tyranny ends. So for the military veterans out there who are still standing at attention, idly being wait, waiting until they're told what to do, government is your enemy. And if you really want to be thankful for your service, then join us in abolishing this domestic threat of tyranny that is government. Help us end the war to end all wars.
public about my nation's situation and how we rise above it and then others when we self-destruct and kill a home and the greater responsibility yes it's still a home we should know by now that the system is designed for our demise if we have rise we'll be left behind dollar signs rule but what about the fool who falls victim to the material world